And the guy goes, I want to know why you broke things off so I won't make the mistake again of losing a beautiful woman. And then she wrote, oh, I'm, I gotta think because it's been a while, but I think it was mainly because we only saw each other like three times and I felt like I didn't get to know a genuine version of you. And then she wrote, I remember when we first talked, you told me you don't carry cash at all, and then you found out that I have a specific charity I donate to, and by the last time we hung out, you were handing out cash to a bunch of homeless people. Nothing wrong with giving them money, it just felt more like an act to impress me in the moment, is all. And then he wrote, you're very full of yourself if you think I was just trying to impress a girl that I barely knew. I simply was inspired by the idea that you give back to the community, so I decided I should do what I can. Like I've told you before, I'm always trying to improve and be a better person, not something else. But that got cut off. And then she goes, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding, your intentions... Um, but your date one was different from your date four because you changed for the better. But I wanted to know who you really are, not the actions that make you a better person. I don't know if I'm explaining it right. And then he said, I'm just someone who always wants to be a better person. That's all there is to know about me. I'm not going to trauma dump on you in the first few dates just to manipulate you into wanting me. I've seen other guys do it and that's just not who I am. And it's not something I wanted to do to you. Um, and then she goes, I get that, but I just feel like maybe we weren't compatible. And he goes, whatever, you won't find a respectable man if you don't change your standards and make it more reasonable. Maybe you don't know how to accept respect when it's given to you. I'm an advocate for therapy and you should try going to fix some emotional baggage and trauma that you have because that is what prevents you from liking good guys. Girls like you always want bad boys and the nice guys are left with scraps to pick from. Send me your therapist. And then she says, send me your therapist number so I can work on removing the emotional baggage and trauma. Thanks. So I think that neither of them are like in the wrong here. Um, I think that she probably didn't feel compatibility with him. And then, but she wasn't like straightforward about it and didn't like communicate it well, right? And so he tried to reach out to have better communication about it, right? And then um, I feel like he got upset by her honesty. And maybe she shouldn't have been so honest. What are you reading? What did I miss? I read that from Reddit. It was this conversation between a guy and a girl. And um, basically... Like, they were, I want to say, like, they went on a couple dates, and then basically the girl probably just blew blew the person off or, like, said they weren't feeling it. And then he was like, hey, why didn't this work out? And then she was like, I just didn't feel like there was compatibility. And then he got mad at her for saying that. Who Who's at fault here? I don't think anybody has to be at fault. Sometimes people just aren't compatible. She said they weren't compatible because he was whatever, and then he kind of. Yeah. Well, she said. Her decision she said that they out. they talked for two months, or they talked for a month two years ago. Went on four dates. Um, before I told them, I felt like we weren't looking for the same thing and wishing the best of luck. And then he just like came up out of nowhere. Kind of odd to ask. I just think that, I think that this guy, um. It is kind of weird, though, right? Like, two years later? Yeah. that That's that's a little strange to me. Like, I'm kind of like, why out. why are they still trying to contact that person after, like, two years, right? Uh, he was looking for closure, but didn't like there wasn't an answer. Oh, I like that. Brandon? Brandon? Brand, Brandon is prime? Um, why do people these days linger on a person? I have been there, and now I just move on. Get a dog. Tito! That's, that's savage. Um, I think that definitely this per, this, this man had like a fixation, you know, he probably couldn't get her out of his head. Right. And I read a book, uh, recently, I can't remember what it's called exactly. It's like the seven best habits or something like that, that you can have. And, um, basically it's like, when we hyperfixate or obsess with someone, like we're constantly blaming them, but like really we are responsible for hyperfixating on them and making them a problem. We are responsible for making them an issue, right? Um, and then so it's it's like this guy, like, he didn't need closure. He didn't need closure. The closure was there. She said best of luck. She doesn't want to be with you, right? And so the closure was there. 
Um, and honestly, if I've learned anything in my old age, right? Not really. I'm not old. I don't think I am. Um, it's that like, you don't need closure. Like you don't need closure. You don't need closure all the time. Like the closure is that it's just over. <laughs> and I think sometimes like when we want closure, it's like, because we can't let go of something. And I think that's what kind of happened here with this guy. I think that like, he probably like hyper fixated on her. I'm not saying like that th this guy, like tons of people do stuff like this, you know, like it's not like the strangest thing in the world. Like people, hi I've, I've hyper fixated on things and people and like have been like, why did I do that to myself? Right. So I think that he just got like hyper fixated on her and then he wanted closure, which again, I love. sometimes you just don't need the closure. Right. And then, um, closure. And then, um, she gave him an answer and he didn't like it. And then he kind of like was not very kind to her. So I honestly think that they both dodged a bullet here. I don't think that they were compatible. And I think, um, the, the only thing I would say is that I think this guy, he shouldn't have messaged her if he, he didn't want like an, another answer. Am I wrong? What if he genuinely wanted an answer? I guess he kind of got upset. With but he already got that. his answer. The answer she said was like, best of luck. Right? Maybe. What do you mean? Oh, I mean, okay. Okay, so let's look at it from that angle. So Dustin's saying, like, you think this guy, like, thought there was something wrong with him and he wanted to take away, like, something to learn from that situation? Yeah, maybe he just, like, had a really bad go with different women over two years and then thought back to her being kind of kind and open-hearted and just being like, well, you were, like, one of the cooler ones. Like, what did I do exactly? But then he got all shitty, so I don't know. Exactly. See, so I do agree with you, Dustin. Like, Sometimes there are, there are things that you can learn from, you know, from, I, I'm honestly, you learn something from every relationship. You learn something from every interaction. I, I learn everything. Like I learn things every second. I feel like sometimes, but, um, I think maybe, okay, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. And he like really wanted to look back on that interaction and find something like great to take away. But then when she gave her answer, like, be like, thank you. And that's all, you know, you don't, don't be like, these are the problems with you. You're never going to find a man, blah, 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 blah. Like that, this is another thing that I've learned with time. Um, also, yes, Kasana's Ferdinand, seven habits for highly effective people. That is the book. Um, and Solomon facts, people don't need closure. They just can't let things go. He revealed his character when he received an answer that he didn't like. Yeah. And, and again, she put on this Reddit post that he's a 24 year old male. She's a 23 year old female. I mean, like they're extremely young. Um, and so I hope that they do healing and they evolve. Um, but like with time, I think it's just like, you understand if like a person doesn't want you, it is honestly self-hatred and self-sabotage and, and just cruelty to yourself to hang on to something that is not serving you. So I, I honestly feel bad for the guy. Like, and I'm not just saying that, like, I feel bad for him. Like, no, I genuinely, I'm like, oh, this guy was possibly torturing himself, right? Um, trying to, you know, thinking about this girl, what, what he could have done better. And the thing is, like, in the end, y'all just weren't compatible. There's nothing, there's nothing well, you know, there's things we are all human. We can adjust things, but it's just kind of like y'all aren't aligned and that's okay. Yeah. Wookie, they both still have a lot of growing up to do. I think so too. I also think that the girl, her communication, I was even kind of stumbling over reading that it wasn't entirely clear. And she even said herself, like, I don't think I'm making myself like super clear here. I'm not like describing it well. Um, so, I mean, I think just in the end, it always comes down to communication, right? Like, I um, haven't been dating for, God, like a year and a half now. But I remember when I look back on the days I was dating, I don't know why I didn't say what I was thinking more and just, like, ask for answers more. Like, it was just, like, torturing myself. There was just no reason to do that to myself. So, okay. They're young. They're going to grow communication will be better. Um, and, I, and the only thing I can really say is I hope that that guy didn't hyper fixate on that girl and like tortured himself too much. And I just wish he would have like ended it better. Cause I think he could have, I think he could have ended that better. So yeah.